are you? Welcome with Losing Lois Shannon, and it is Way In Monday. This is my weekly vlog where I kind of tell you about my weight loss week, kind of check in with everybody. How was your weight loss week? If you had a successful week, drop it down below. Did you weigh in today? So, today, I weighed in at... Sorry, I think that was a banana. Please get off my lap. It's a no school day because of heavy rains and flooding. So this one's here and that one, they're all on my nerves today. It's, it, huh, it is one of them days. Today I weighed in at 198. Is it going to focus? One ninety-eight point four. It actually said one ninety-seven at one point, but I'm not going to count that because you know. So, what I, I broke through the stall. What I do to break through that stall? Well, I lowered my Weight Watcher points to thirty-seven. I also started tracking on the Lose It app because I for real kind of didn't trust Weight Watchers or I track bites at the moment. Um. And at one point, I stopped counting my watch points last week because I just like, I felt like with calories, I had more control over what I was eating because I wiped through my points in one day for uh, one thing. And it wasn't doing that with my, uh, with my uh, calories, so I kind of almost like it. And plus, the Lose It app is so nice compared to iTrack Bites. Like, it's really easier for me to like, log some of these foods. What sticky stuff's on my phone? There's a banana sitting beside me. It's, huh. We got it. Do you know where that thing is? Okay, I'm back. Yeah, it's one of them days. So, um,. What I do? I try to do less heavy S meals. I did have a BLT frittata on my list to make, but I wound up not making that, and instead I made pizza, which is still a heavy S meal. But I was trying to be very lenient on the cheese. So I feel like I did pretty good there, and I still lost the next day. So I stopped counting Weight Watcher points midweek and just started counting, counting calories. And I really like the idea of counting macros. Uh, there's still some sticky on my phone, yo. And I kept to, you know, eating every three or four hours and um, doing lots more vegetables uh, and more salads and okra every day. So I don't know if the okra challenge works, but I did lose weight every day I had okra. So I'm not sure. Who knows? I need a lid for that. That works. That has a straw. Oh, now he's going to climb on me. So... So, let me scoot back today on the Lose It app. I pretty much only went over my calories one day, and that's with my exercise, though. So, that might affect it. Uh, maybe if I didn't exercise, I'd be, like, right at that number. Because there was two days with exercise I was under, but without exercise, I was over. Uh, since I do not have premium, I cannot sync my Fitbit. My Fitbit's not working anyways. <sighs> So, pretty much just, I'm logging bar bounce as a half bar, half trampoline rebounding, I think. I don't remember. Uh, I really wish I could get premium, but you know, budgets. Uh, I really wish I could see if I could, if it would help. But I really like the idea of looking at the macros, especially in trim and healthy mama life. Uh, so, there was one day I almost had perfect macros. As to what the macros I found on a, if it fits in your macros calculator, gave me close but not perfect. Basically, essentially, if you're a trim healthy mama, your macros will, uh, one day, there's always going to be a day you're doing over 50% of something. Essentially. Because that's what seems to be happening every day I do it. Maybe I've been wrong. <sighs> so, 
So, exercise-wise, I'm still in the Zuma challenge, but I really want to give it up because, you know, it, I've broken my stall, so do I really need it? But I kind of really want to do the last two days because, uh, because I want to say, hey, I did it, and it doesn't help you lose a dress size because it doesn't. And it does definitely one of those days. So, I just hate having to have an hour of cardio. Plus, then, I do have yoga burn. And I just decided last week that I was going to give up on doing 45 minutes of yoga. Because I do so much, especially during the Zuma challenge. And because usually when I was doing yoga burn, those days I'd do like a 30-minute bar or something else. Not an hour plus a 45 so, 30 minutes is still okay, but, so, last week I just decided I'm just going to do 30 minutes with all the activity I'm doing. I don't need 45 minutes of yoga burn, uh, but I'm so behind on the 10-day challenge, I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Technically, I only have one hour left and one 45 minute left. Is this mine? Oh, okay, that's a henna book, though, so. So... Please stop whining. I have asked you 50 times today. So, I don't know. I need some, I need some motivation. Just do two more hours of Zumba. I really hate Zumba. Uh, I'm just not good at it. And I'm a hoop dancer. I'm just not good at it. It's too high impact for me. And blah. Um, although one of the songs is stuck in my head right now. I just heard glass, and the baby's already broken glass this weekend, so I don't know what that is. I think he threw something in the sink, because there shouldn't be glass out. He's just probably throwing a fork in the sink. Mm. So, what I do this week? Okra, more vegetables, being more mindful of my fatty foods, counting calories and or points, then, uh exercise I did it uh, although I did decrease my yoga so maybe I didn't do it and I took two rest days this weekend <sighs> you got it. You got it. well technically Sunday was a rest day but I only did 30 minutes of yoga so it, it felt like rest day to me so what's uh, what's on the plan this week this week is convince myself to do two things a, a Zumba if I do it Probably do bar bounce because I'm really liking doing bar bounce and then he has first steps so I'll just clean while he has first steps. Um, low key hate, love hate bar bounce because it's hard. It's hard. But I did push both babies in the stroller and I felt like it was easier today. Maybe all that cardio is helping me get up a hill. Ugh. But, see, I feel like with the Zumba challenge, I'm not walking the dog enough. So, then I feel guilty about that. That's, I think, one part of the issues. Because then, I could do 30 minutes of bar, go walk the dog, come home, do yoga in the afternoon. But, can't do that when I have to do an hour. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, I keep getting uh, uh, ads for Body Groove. And I want Body Groove so bad. I've wanted Body Groove for years. But that's like my jam. She's like, just move. It's kind of like Nia, but let's like Body Groove. Um... I tried to nurse you earlier. Can you wait eight to seven minutes? So, I did upload my the results of my shopping trip this weekend, but I forgot oolong. I forgot caramel extract, which I cannot find at Kroger. Um, there's like three other things I need. And unfortunately, I need one from Walmart and one at Kroger, so it sucks. It sucks. Uh, now that I'm 198, I feel like I need my reward. I told myself all summer, I know your feet stink, all summer that my big splurge was going, big splurge would be, uh, would be going to Sakura because I really like that fried rice. 
but I've just been so close to goals that I haven't let myself. My husband all yesterday, Sunday's like, I really want some Chinese. I'm like, not until I officially go on the scale and get 198. So what's the meal plan this week? Chili. Oh, chili. Chicken fried double rice. Gumbo. My favorite. Drummies. Some more things with chicken breast. Oh my goodness, he has claws. Uh, I think he just fell on a ball. Like, stepped on the ball and fell. I don't know. Um, ooh, this week I am uploading a video. My tips for a trim and healthy beginner. So, uh, watch out for that. I have been trying to upload them on Thursdays. So... Watch for that on this channel. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Button down below. Uh, I've been posting my meals uh, every day if I remember on Instagram at Got a Charm. Um, I felt so motivated. I, I mean, oh my goodness. Like, it probably doesn't seem like because it's been a blah day with these guys this morning and I haven't really technically exercised, so it's like, meh. It's. I'm so excited about life right now. Like, motivated to do stuff. So, the other day, I pulled out my Esperanto books and started studying again, which I had, like, pretty much all summer I took a break, except for occasionally putting Mozzie on for Jane. He loves Mozzie, by the way. Uh, then I'm like thinking, my kids are kind of pretty decent. I could almost start writing my novels, even if it's just 30 minutes, if I just put cartoons on for them and sit in the same room as them. I mean, I can do that, I think. That'd be awesome to be able to start writing again and hopefully, you know, maybe exploring getting published, uh, in, like editing and then getting published within this year. I mean, if, I, if I could bring like an extra five, ten dollars in the house, that'd be awesome. I just feel really motivated. I don't know if it's because I got over this hump. I got over the stall. I focused and obsessed. Like, my other bullet journal, like, it's pretty much 75% my weight loss journey. And, like, 50 of it is um, bust through this stall stuff. So, it's crazy. Um, mm. <laughs> but I just feel really motivated right now. And, uh... Just real, it, I guess maybe it's a uh, sort of a just a relief that I finally I finally hit this goal I have never hit when I Alice Griffith. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh man, I think the light levels are weird now. <sighs> toddlers, babies, toddlers. Well, I mean the baby is toddler, so you know. He almost died, or something, or hit his head. Which I mean, he has, he falls and hits his head and doesn't care most of the time, anyways. So he's better now. But I just I feel really motivated right now. Maybe it's because I figured out how to break my stall and I got it. Uh, if anyone's interested in like a video all about stalls, because I've watched a ton of videos now and researched a whole lot about plateaus and stalls, and I can give you lots and lots of advice because I was taking notes in that bullet journal, like up the walls, because <laughs> just trying to figure it out and trying to plan, and trying to figure out what was for me. And I think the biggest key was all those keto meals, I was abusing fat. Because when I was looking at my macros for the two days I was counting while counting weight washer points and still being within my weight washer points, um, my macros were like over 60% like fat. Is that fat? Yeah. The orange is fat. So yeah, I think it was just way, way too much fat abuse and not enough vegetables. Maybe. I'm not sure. So... I'm just kind of afraid if I stop counting calories that I'm going to gain weight back. But I've never been this small in my entire life. So, I hate that my tummy, it's, I still feel fat. I still feel like I look fat. My tummy's fat. All that other stuff. It just really bothers me at times. Because I don't feel like I'm that much smaller. But, you know, in theory I am. Because, and man, this video is going to go over 15 minutes. I'm to try to keep them under 15 minutes, but... Not today. 
If I can find this video picture, it might be in screenshots. Oh. This was from the bar where I did aerial sculpt. I'm the second person. You can probably barely see it, but look at my belly or the fact that there is no belly. Like, I would imagine that I look like the first girl, but I kind of don't look like that girl because my belly is kind of, you know, not barely there. Like, whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. And also when I did aerial sculpt, I was able to do two things I did not get to do the last time because I'm more confident in my body, more flexible, and stronger. So that was awesome. So, if you have any successes this week, share them with me. Obviously, I've just shared with you one of my biggest challenges in my life, getting to 100, the hundreds. I've never been there. I'm pretty sure he just hit himself with a box, so um, my level of pity is very low. Uh, so share them below. If you are having a hard day with your kids, share them below too. Because we all need to laugh, because it happens. That's mom life. And uh, it'll get better, and one day we'll, we'll miss these moments. <laughs> so, what has made you feel extra motivated today? Share below. Or if you have any videos you would like to see, pop it down below and we'll think about it. Bye!